when a woman is horny, the first thing she will do if you're close to her is she wants to have physical contact. She wants to touch you. Most times she goes as far as wearing skimpy clothes, bending down, touching you when you're talking. She will like <laughs> she will touch you. Most times women often get horny once in a while if they are really, really attracted to you. But it is worse when a woman is ovulating. When she's ovulating, her tension for sex becomes very, very high. In fact, she needs your touch. She needs you to talk to her sweetly. She needs you to do things for her. She needs you to hold her hands. Because at that time, her body is itching for a man's touch. So if she's around you that time, she will do everything and anything to also get you in the mood for you to really wire her and give her the satisfaction she really needs at that time. Because at that time, it's as if there is fire in a woman's body. Because she needs something or someone to quench that fire. Women often go out of their way to demand for sex at this time when they are ovulating. On a normal day, a woman will feel shy coming to you to tell you anything. But once she's ovulating, that shyness, because her body needs it, that shyness will leave her. That is why the second thing a woman would do whenever she's horny is she was going to cheat on you. Because if she can't control herself, she will eventually cheat on you. She will call someone else or she will go meet someone else. Or those guys that are always be, that has always been on her DM to talk to her, to call her. You will notice this is when she starts giving them attention. If you notice that you've been calling a woman, you've been testing her, but she's not giving you green light. But all of a sudden, the woman starts giving you green light. In fact, she even wants to come to your place. She wants to come and see you. She wants you to come see her. She's horny at this time. She needs a man to talk to. She needs a man to touch her. That is why when a woman is ovulated, most times she gets carried away. She allowing you to touch her the first time she's meeting you. Women mostly get into serious relationship or relationship that they don't even want. That is why if you are in a relationship, a distant relationship with a woman who you know that cannot control her body, cannot control herself, do not be in a serious relationship with her because at this time she's ever going to cheat on you. I don't care who she is, even if she's your wife. If you know that, oh, she's like guys, she like guys flirting with her, those guys that are flirting with her, during that period they will not be around. She knows she cannot reach you. You can't be there to touch her. She has no control over her body. She's going to cheat on you. Then another thing they would do when they are horny is they want to test you. They want to call you. Most times they demand video call. They want to see your face as you're seeing their face. And they want to use naughty, naughty words. Most times if they feel they can't call you, maybe they are at work or you are at work, they feel they can't give you video call. They will use naughty text messages. At most, when you notice that a woman is not always, she's not always using text messages to remind you the past when you guys started, those good moments you had with her. Sometimes she will even use, maybe if she used to see you and before you touch her when she used to come around or when you are around, there is this particular music you used to put. There is this particular music you used to play whenever you want to meet her. She will start talking about those music. Because she wants to, she she's she wants to get naughty. She wants you to feel what she's feeling. But at that time, most of you will say, "Oh, you just remember. You don't know she's funny at that time. She really wants you to put her in the mood, even though she will not see you." Most women who do this are women who have self control because they really do not want to cheat on you. They want to have that good moment with you so that at least it will relieve them and calm them down. Once they are calm after talking to you, they will tend to forget about it. Once in a while or after some minutes, some hours, the thought will come again. And at this time, you will notice she will give you frequent call, frequent text messages, especially if you are not around her. She will always call you frequently. She might end up a call with you now. now. She will remember something. She will start calling you again. She's not just calling you. It's because she's horny. That is why she's giving you those repeated goals because she is disciplined and she doesn't want to cheat. Then if you're close to her, you will notice that she will come and touch your D. She'll be touching your D because she really wants to get you in the mood. 
Have you noticed that women hardly tell you that they want the do, they want you to really give them that thing they need, that, especially when they are honey. They can't tell you, they can't come up to tell you, oh, I want you to touch me, I want to go down with you. They will never tell you that. That is one thing about a woman she will never do. They will never tell you, oh, they want you to get down with them. The only thing you notice they will do is, if you're close to them, those ones that are very brave, and those ones that can no longer control it, they will come and be holding your deal. That is why if you're with a woman, a random woman, maybe when you're working in your place, in, in, in your your neighbor, and you notice that there are times you notice she will come and she will use her hand or her body, she wants to pass, she, she's just like touching your D. She needs something. A woman cannot just come and size your D without having feelings, without wanting you to get down with her. Most times, if they size it, it's not really what they get, they want. They start looking for a man that they have what they want because most times they don't know how to tell you, oh, they want it. They, but they will want to come and size it. And most times, they don't even care what the size is. They just want you to feel, oh, they touched you. They, 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 on, on its own, supposed to supposed to get long, supposed to be ready for action, and you will go down. Because they have that feeling that it is a man that is supposed to make the first move so they don't appear cheap. So if you notice any of this thing around a woman that you're conversant with, you're joking with, you see every day, or your woman knowing that she's horny. That is why she's doing it. And another one is, they will start asking you they want to visit you. Those of you in a distant relationship, in a long distant relationship, that you have wives that are not close to you, this is where you know that your woman is cheating. If she cannot call you, or you see how she starts getting, it gets aggressive at this time. They get very angry. Little things at this time will piss them very up. They will piss up. Oh, I said, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want us to talk. You refuse to take my call. You just, ah, oh, I told you I was working. I do not know why I was calling you at that time. This one always happens every once in a month. So you should be always, be always observant when your woman is falling and when she's not, when she's not trying to make trouble. Those troubles are coming because of how she feels, how intense that feeling is. And because she doesn't want to cheat on you, she doesn't want to have anything to do with another man. So that is why she will get angry. That time she wants to talk to you. You don't want to talk to her. Maybe you're busy. She will be even she will be she will not consider you again. Because at that time, she doesn't want to pack a load and give to another person. She doesn't want to go and hit on another person. She doesn't want to go and get down with another person. So if you're in a long distance relationship and your woman can go one month. Even if you don't call her, she can go one month. During that period, who is she giving those attention to? During that period, that is when you see them, they tell you, oh, I'm no longer comfortable staying alone. I want you to bring me along. I want to come stay with you. I want you to visit me. They'll become very angry because you're not close. So is the woman that you're with, is she doing this? It shows she's funny. Even if you're in a distant relationship, she's going to do it. If she's not doing it for you, there is someone definitely she's doing it for. Because every woman will experience this every month. Because that honeyness, that that time of the month that they need to they need to feel that way, it is once in a month. Every month they will feel that way. Even though she's the type that doesn't like uh, the she that doesn't like uh, um, intimacy going down a lot, because there are women who does not like it, but that time of the month, she's going to feel that way. When she's ovulating, she's everybody going to feel that way. If she's not calling you, you're not calling her, she can stay on her own. Who is she doing it with? Who is she calling? So if she's doing it with you, know she's calling. Talk to her family, tell her what she needs to hear, and watch how happy you will make her. And if she's close to you, she's showing you, she's bending down, wearing skippy clothes, reminding you of the way you used to hit her, or you used to go down on her, how she used to enjoy it, knowing that something is wrong with her, that only you can take care of, only you can handle. This is Spell Solution. Do well to share. Subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Thank you for my returning subscribers. Always click on the notification bell so that whenever I post, you'll be the first person to see it. Thank you. And don't forget to share the video.